In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Inventor 2015 in regards to the sweep command. My name is Mark Flayler. I'm a senior application engineer here with Imagine It Technologies, and I'm going to show you what's been enhanced here in the new version of the software. So what's really new with the sweep command? Well, it's the same sweep command we always had, but now with a little bit of a twist. So we actually have a new enhancement to the dialog that allows for a twist factor for as we sweep it along a path, how many twists it goes through by a value of a degree. Now in the past, this was very difficult to do. You had users sometimes try a coil command, 3D sketches, helical paths. It was a really difficult time in order to get some of the examples you see there on the left hand side of the screen. Not necessarily impossible, but pretty close to it. I had to do one similar to what you see in the image there on the left, where I had to do a coil, then I had to use a bend part command, which is not my favorite tool in the world. And I had to do that in order to get the geometry that I needed in certain cases. So now in 2015, it's a whole lot easier. I have a twist option built right inside the dialog box you see there on the right hand side. And we're going to take a look at how to actually create some of these sweeps with these twist options and some of the nuances for how it works. So let's jump over to the software. And I'm going to begin with an easy one up here in the upper right. Let me maximize the screen here. So right now I have a couple of profiles drawn on a certain plane, the XY plane. And I also have a path drawn on the YZ plane. So a traditional sweep, very easily created here from our sweep command up top, allows us to grab our profile, such as the square here, and sweep it along this path. Now the enhancement with the twist allows me to put a twist value on there. So based on the entire length of the path, how many twists does it go through? What degree of rotation does it go through? If I type in 180, it goes through one rotation. If I do 360, it'll eventually get back onto itself. And this can go higher than 360. You're not limited by that full rotation value of 360 degrees. I can put in 10,080 to get more rotations inside of that twist. So I'll go ahead and approve this. We'll see what we have there. This is something I used to be able to do with the coil command pretty easily. Now I'm going to undo this and do another sweep, this time with these profiles out top. So now I'm going to go through here and put on profiles of these circles and twist them. I'll begin by grabbing each one of these circles. And I'm going to turn off my optimize for single selection. This allows me to pick multiple profiles when I want to do more than one sweep profile. Now to get over to the path option from here, I'll simply right click and choose continue and that jumps me over to the path selection so I don't have to go back to the dialog box. I'll go ahead and pick on this. So there's my standard sweep and I'll go ahead and do 360 here as well or maybe 1080 on that as well. I'll say OK and I get a message that the path doesn't intersect the profile. I know that. It doesn't necessarily have to. This is more of a cautionary message. I'll say OK and let the sweep generate. So there we have our sweep there. Now we're not limited to a straight path when we do this either. So let me jump over to the sweep with a twist curve file. I'm going to do the same exact sweep but this time along a curved path. So again, I'm going to turn off my optimized single selection and go through and just pick on multiple profiles here. Right click, continue, and select this path. There you can see it's a standard sweep so far. And I'm going to apply the twist to this. Here I'll do 1080. There we go. Say OK. Same message about the path and profile. I'm going to approve that. And you're going to see as it goes through here, it's also twisting it around that curvature as it goes around there. Now let's look at a little bit more advanced one. Here I have a more springy type shape. Now this one has a fair amount of setup involved. To begin with, I had a swept line here that created a surface along the spline path. So that was my first one. That was the first sweep with a twist that I did. If I go into my sweep surface command here on the left hand side and double click it, 
There you can see I have my twist value of 360 degrees multiplied by a parameter called rotation multi, which is just how many total rotations I want. I'm going to say OK there, and that's essentially my swept surface. Then I have a 3D path sketch. Now this one here I didn't complete. This is really the important step here. I'm going to start the 3D path sketch that I already have created. And I'm not going to use an intersection curve like I would perhaps in the past when I'm doing more advanced coils. Instead, I'm going to use the include geometry option. It's like project geometry, but inside of a 3D sketch. So I'll, I'll choose that and then pick that outer loop of that surface. So now it's been projected. It's now able to be utilized. Let me finish out of that 3D sketch and I'll start my wired diameter profile. Here I just have the diameter of this with a projected point and the sizing and it's fully constrained. Now when I finish that sketch I'm ready to get going here so I'll start my sweep command, have my profile pre-selected. I got this nice path already in here as well and I'll choose that as my path for sweeping. So really I don't have to apply any twist to this one. My first sweep that was done with the surface is the one that's controlling that for me. And then here it's just geometry that's been reused and also projected geometry for where I want to put my wire diameter. So I'll say OK and create my shape. Now if I want to make modifications to this I can go back to my original sweep surface and change that or I can open up my parameters and I'll change my rotation multi here from 10 rotations to let's say 15. I'll see an immediate update take place and a very quick change done to my part file. So I need to be careful how I build this with my spline that's in there. I need to make sure I get good dimensions on that to make sure I don't have some overlapping geometry because I just don't want that. And I'll choose done. So this has been a look at how to create the sweep command with our twist option. Now one thing I didn't show here is you can also do this with a taper. You don't have to be specified only to non-tapered values. So you can put a taper value and have it grow as it sweeps as well. And once you're done, here's a nice finished result of a nice umbilical here from one of my clients. And you can see it's multiple profiles, sweeping and twisting. Creates a nice bit of geometry or maybe you work for the Twizzlers factory and you need to create a new type of Twizzler to each their own but you have a really awesome tool here now with sweep to be able to do these sort of twisting options